Hello everyone, it's Asukan and today we're going to be taking a look on how to recreate old school MapleStory maps in MapleStory Worlds. Now, first things first, as soon as we're in our editor, we're going to need a new map. So, go ahead and create a new map and also give it a name. Um, for the purposes of this demo, we're going to be recreating the slime tree, everyone's favorite map, at least mine is. Um, and we're going to double click it to move there. Perfect. So Maple Story Worlds has this pretty nifty window. If you go to Maple Story Map, and you can see all of the Maple Story maps that are now available, but you can't see old school maps. But that doesn't that doesn't mean we can't use them. Um, we can uh, go ahead and get one of these. Um, what we now want is the Southern Forest Tree Dungeon. Now, this isn't exactly the slime tree, it's like another tree, but it's gonna give us some assets. I like starting with some assets on the board, um, just to help around. Now, you see these are things we don't really need, like this NPC, for example, really don't need. Uh, these spawn points, yeah, sure, we're gonna keep one. Um, but we already have the background, and we have some sort of map and some assets right like these things over here we're gonna put this to the side and maybe i'll keep a platform or two just to just to have them uh everything else i honestly do not need right so i'm gonna zoom out go ahead and select pretty much everything over here and delete perfect Okay, um, so now we need kind of a reference, but we have something better than a reference. We have the actual map available that we can import. Um, and we can find that if we go to maplestory.wiki slash cms, and we're gonna look for the version of the game that we want. The old school MapleStory, uh, usually anything between version 81 and 89 is gonna be great for old school. Uh, most of the maps I find in version 89, even though the most popular is 84. Um, and Slime 3 is actually called Dungeon uh, uh, Southern Forest 3 Dungeon or something. There it is. Dungeon Southern Forest 1. And yeah, th this is the one with the slimes. So here we see what monsters are in there. It, there are 21 slimes in the slime tree. Uh, the portal leads to the Forest of Thousands of Thelenia. We have the soundtrack. Which is a crime not to have it play for the rest of the demo. And we can preview the map. Perfect. And see exactly how it should look like and we can also left click on this which is what we're gonna do and we get an actual render of the map now we're gonna need to save this one um gonna save it here slime three map render i recommend having different names for your maps just because they're gonna be different assets as well now we're gonna need to import it um, importing is really easy all you have to do is find the file in your desktop and drag it in and that's about it now we do need to move the position it's usually it's zero zero right um, now I say I put it in zero zero and it's not really that great um, so I'm gonna manually kind of move it to match where I wanted it to be I think that's really good nice so now we have all these platforms and everything is already set up oh maybe I'll should yeah yeah that's nice that's really nice perfect so now um, what we need is basically everything else we need the portals we need the monsters we have a few things uh, we need to put down 
But first things, first things first, we need some platforms. Because this is just an image, it doesn't have platforms for people to step in. Now, I could go ahead and start inputting the platforms one by one. But I'm not gonna do that because there's a better way. Um, so Maple Story has pixel perfect assets, meaning that when we did put in this map, it's in the perfect size. We don't need to resize it in any way, shape, or form. Our character is gonna be perfect in there. Everything's gonna just stick to the size. Um, so let's go ahead and add some platforms. When clicking on the map, we can go in the properties panel and click add component. And we're gonna need some footholds. It's called custom foothold component. And here we can leave everything as is, but on the edge list, we're gonna put as many platforms as we're gonna need, or maybe even more, and we can just lower them later. Um, and now each number over here is basically a platform. And on the size, just put two for now, it's just gonna change by itself, don't worry about it. And here, I'm just, I just like putting small numbers, and the reason is, now I can see. Otherwise, it will just be a dot in the middle, but now I can see where it is. So what we do is, uh, on the map again, right-click, edit footfall, and we can move them around. Now, after we move them around, right, and I'm actually gonna go a bit outside of the play area. And we can keep adding them. where you know where the platform is gonna be perfect now let's go ahead and and click play see what we made slight problem which is we can follow the map <laughs> so let's go ahead and fix it what we need is on our map the whatever name we gave it right we did has a map component and we can click on use custom bounds and click on edit and now on its center it's gonna have a green box now using these sliders over here, we need to, to put it in the size that we want. Okay, And because we're also going to use this for the camera, uh, we can extend it a bit on the bottom side. So bottom doesn't matter, you can go all the way to here basically. And top as well doesn't really matter unless someone is fly hiking they're not gonna really see all the way to the top um, and for the edges like make sure they can't flip them up you know right uh, top it's gonna move it here I think it's pretty good and I'm gonna edit my footholds again. So my goal is to have them all being inside the wood over here. Like, because if I have one or maybe something that's like oh, not all the way to the wall, you will be able to fall down. If it's like a bit smaller or whatever, you will be able to fall down. Um, so let's go ahead and hit play. So now we're not working outside of the map. We <laughs> and we fell. Now, now my character did go a bit way to into the map. 
So let's make it a bit smaller. About that big. And here about. I think this will be better. Perfect. Um, so now that we have the play area, let's assume why did the whole thing right they did maybe half maybe a bit um we need some enemies and we need to find some slimes now there are a lot of ways to find the enemy that you need um this is okay one of my favorite is clicking on the filters and finding the actual map that we need um, this one should be like in Victoria Island. Yeah, you need to use the cups for the E in the, in the start. And it's not really in a linear, it's more in the forests around of a linear. Mm. Is there? There is no slime forest no so you can see i'm having difficulties finding a map that has the the monster um and if i search for the monster name i don't find anything and there is actually a pretty neat, neat trick uh if we go to resource storage this is on the panel it's resource storage it's over here uh, click on micro maple story world's uh, resources and on the sprites we can just search for the monster that we need there it is but this is just a sprite we're gonna click on the information panel and it has all of these related tags these are there to help the developers search for the sprites and everything now all of these look Korean to me, honestly. And but there is one specific tag that everyone has, and it's this one right here. There is only one tag with a number and nothing else. Like this one's like map name and the number, right? This one that's for map name, but there's only one with a number. And this is the golden tag. We find this golden tag and we have everything exactly for the monster. And we even have um, the audio clips for the monster. Like everything for the monster is here. We can go to animation clips. We got we have the animation clips for the monster specifically. But yeah, basically everything we needed, right? Everything we needed just with this golden tag. Even the prefab. So when I go to the monsters list. And search with no. make sure we actually have selected everything uh, and we search for this uh, golden tag we find the monster that we need and we can just bring it here and you don't really need to do anything to the monster um, maybe add some scripts or whatever you wanted to do it's mostly okay the monster itself like it's gonna move around there it is it's gonna move around it doesn't have sound or anything um, but it's there it moves around and I actually do have a script written here um, I can put it down in the comments the script itself where it's like a modified monster script uh, I can say you double click this one that lets me have sound for the death and for the hitting it and stuff like that right so hit sound are you ID um, so let's go ahead and find that using our golden tag again we're gonna find the ID yeah this is hitting it and this is dying so copy this one on our monster uh, this is the hit 
and this is when it dies. Perfect. Great. Now we're almost done. Uh, now that we have our monster ready, um, wait. Let's let's just be correct really quickly. Uh, we're gonna find the slime. The slime has 50 HP. So we're gonna go back here on our monster. Hello, on our monster. It has 50 max HP and 50 current HP. It's important, otherwise it's just not gonna have any. Um, we probably do want them to respawn, so I'm gonna hit respawn on and respawn delay. I what was it? Was it 20? Yeah, 20 is a good value. It's pretty close to what we want. Uh, there, there are scripts to spawn monsters in the original way, but this is good enough for now. Perfect. Um, so now that our monster is ready, we're gonna copy it a bunch of times, put it in platforms where you will want your monster to be. You can even touch it, right? Touch the monster. Touch the slime. Touch the slime. Or you can put it high and it's just gonna drop because it has a rigid body component. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it is right here. And another thing we need is, I mean, we're gonna add it here. Another thing we need is a portal. So let's go ahead and add the portal. I'm gonna place it over here. That's good. And the target portal where we want it to take us. Um, just gonna throw it all the way to Koenig City Portal. Yeah, why not? Now that we're done, let's enjoy some Slime 3 gameplay. Bye-bye, thank you for watching.